So you're out there. You're in L.A., right? You're in Los Angeles, and you get the idea. You get the idea in the dome ski. You're like, yo, we're going to buy some properties in Cleveland, Ohio, right? Places like Cleveland, Ohio, Detroit, Michigan, Cleveland, Detroit. You get houses for pennies. Pennies on the dollar, dude. You can't lose. Let's check those out. Let's build a big portfolio. Let's just get these cheap, cheap properties. What could go wrong, right? That's what you're thinking. You're thinking that. You think it's so cheap I can't lose. Well, I'm here to tell you, you definitely can lose. But don't worry. I make sure that's not going to happen. Let's go. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. I am James Wise, and I help people invest in real estate. People from all over the world invest in Cleveland real estate. And today I'm working with two dudes, Andrew and Gary. You guys are investors from L.A., and you found a property, a triplex in Cleveland. And what you told me is, uh, hey, blah, 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 blah. Hey, James, this property, we're looking at doing this deal. It needs a full rehab. We're looking to put it under your property management. Get Holton Wise to do the rehab. And then we are going to put Section 8 tenants in the property. And you guys are smart, though, right? You're out there in L.A. And before you actually do all that, spend all that money, you want to get my take on the rental property because that's what I do. I help dudes like you from L.A., I help people from New York, I help people from Singapore, I help people from all over the world make money in Cleveland real estate, and I do so by getting them into good deals and keeping them out of bad deals. So let me go over your deal here momentarily before you guys drop a ton of money. Two, please. Welcome back, folks. Let's pull up this property. Let's see if this one passes the sniff test, all right? 2168 East 79th Street, Cleveland, 44103. Price so cheap, 69900 Pet out of the market forever, though, right? 241 days, right? Uh, 180 days is six months. 210 would be seven. So that's eight months on the market. Now, if you're from another market that's incredibly expensive, perhaps L.A., perhaps anywhere in California, really, you see the pricing in Cleveland and you're like, dude, that is so cheap. I guess nobody wants these properties, right? That is false thinking, okay? When properties are uh, properly priced in Cleveland, they actually fly, right? They fly in, in, in days, in hours sometimes, right? So it's not like nobody's buying these properties. This one, why is nobody buying this? Because this is completely overpriced, right? This particular property is actually in one of the worst neighborhoods in the Cleveland market. Let me go even further. This particular property is one of the worst neighborhoods in Ohio. Let me go even further. This particular property is literally in one of the worst neighborhoods in the United States of America. There is no scenario where an out-of-state investor can buy this property for almost $70,000, do a full rehab, and burr it out. What are you going to burr it out to? You can't Re, there, there's no value to refinance it, okay? This is like literally uh, the worst of the worst, right? The, the property values in this neighborhood are actually closer to zero uh, than they would be to $70,000, right? There's like really no after repair value here, right? This is a neighborhood that is so blighted and so destroyed that there's really no deal to be had here. Now, this is a hundred something year old neighborhood, okay? These are all the different lots, right? What you get in neighborhoods like this is you get a house like this that needs a full rehab, but the after repair value gets to the point where it's so low, beaten down by crime in just just a, a, a very low value neighborhood, 
uh, that what happens is these properties become in dilapidated states and people just walk away from them, right? They walk away from them and then the city takes them over, usually due to back taxes. The people are like, well, my house is worth 20 grand, but it needs $50,000 to repair. That obviously doesn't make sense. They walk away. They stop paying the taxes. The city takes it back, tax foreclosure, and then the city tears it down, right? So this is the property we're talking about today. Well, what happened next to it? Tear down, tear down, tear down, tear down, tear down, tear down, tear down. All right, cross the street. Tear down, tear down, tear down, tear down, tear down. Tear down, tear down, tear down. Over here, tear down. Tear down, tear down. Over here, tear down, tear down, tear down. Tear down, 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 tear down. Tear down, tear down, tear down, okay? Do you get the point? These are all properties that have got negative values. So there's like no scenario where you can buy this thing for 70 k fix it up, do an ARV. It, it would make absolutely no sense. I pulled the comps for this, by the way, and here's how I do comps. I do comps in a highly populated urban area like this. Uh, similar properties over the last, sales over the last six months sold within a quarter mile radius. Well, guess what? When I do that, usually I get like 40 cops. This neighborhood, people buy, <laughs> buy properties so few and far between. I had to go back five years to find three cops, right? Uh, one from 2018, 22,000. One from 2020, 23,000. And then one from this year or last year for 143,000. Whoever bought this one for that price sure as shit did not. Spend the money doing due diligence coming to the uh, the MLS search and nails to show at Holton Wise TV before they made that purchase. I'm sure this person is going to be one of those people that sells it for pennies of what they paid for it, right? That's why you guys come to the show. You don't want to be that people. Even these people, uh, I think, probably made mistakes. Okay, well, actually, this is uh, this cop is the same property, right? Somebody had just bought this thinking. They could actually do something with it. They bought it for $23,000. they have done no repairs. Now they've slapped it back on the market looking for a sucker trying to pay him seventy. First of all, when they bought it at twenty-three, they didn't do a good job. If you buy it at seventy, you ain't doing a good job. This deal is a dud. I see no scenario where an out-of-state investor uh, could do a bird deal on this particular property. This one is a no-go. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.